Hey everybody out there, we're with my friend today. He's going to be profiling his update of his Alter Guy stack. So I hope you guys all sit back and enjoy it. Go ahead, man. Okay. Um, so I've been I've been testing I've been theorizing this for a long time. I played I played Alter Guys in Atlanta. Um, I was one win away from uh, day two, but the deck was not good back then. So I mean, it, it wasn't it wasn't bad, but it wasn't like good good. Um, whereas now it's really good. Um, so I played at locals today. I, I won my locals. Um, I plan on taking it to a VIP qualifier this weekend. Um, the old build is on the channel. Um, it's probably a month or two ago. You can go find it. And then I'll just get started with this one. So I play, I play one cut Kiari. Um, a lot of people don't play this card, and I, I think it needs to be played at one. It's really good. Um, you can summon it to, obviously, you can use the summon effect to like stop attacks and not die. Um, you can also, um, you can put it back with spoofing and get the same one you put back. Um, so you, if you have this in spoofing during your battle phase, you're not really going to, you probably won't die because um, you can stop the major attacks. Um, and then you can stop Mellow Secret with this, which is really good in the mirror. Um, if, if you're playing against like Draco or something, you can shotgun your, um, like if they go diagram, you can, I'm not saying this is good. Um, in situations that might be good, you can um, activate multifigure and summon this from your deck and then use this to uh, neuter the diagram, which um, might come up, might not come up. Um, it's probably better on neutering the heritage. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but like stuff like that, it can't come up. This can hit field tools, which is good. So um, I like this at one. I, I cut it last week and I, I missed it, so I played it. Um, I play two of the Cairns. Um, this is good at two. You don't want to draw it. You want to summon it from multi-finger every time. You don't want to play three um, because you draw them. You just don't want to draw them. And that's what, I mean, this, this card's great. Um, I should probably hit this card next. Um, I play three Millisecs. Everybody plays three Millisecs. Um, a lot of times, if you don't if you don't have to summon Cairn off of um, multi-finger on their turn, don't do it. Just, just go for the Millisec. And then um, you can like send this to Grave, get a Marionetter, and then Marionetter um, do stuff. Or you can, if you have this in Multifigure, you can link these to your way for a Hexia, search out a Marionetter, you can summon Marionetter, and then set a card, and then use Marionetter effect. Uh, send itself, and then reborn your Multifigure, and then go into like a Kieran, and you can do Balance. Or you can link those away for like a Prime Banshee. Um, and then you can use that effect to summon something. Um, most people just like link this away for like a link creebo or they just do the standard play of this, but it's like if you don't have to go into this with your multi-figure, don't do it. Just go into this, uh, prep your next turn. Um, it'll be really good. This effect is during damage set for those who don't know. The other effect, uh, when it inflicts battle damage, uh, you can send a card. So that, um, when you at you declare your attack and they have to respond right then. If they don't respond right then, you just send a card. They can't, and like if you target like a scapegoat, they can't activate their scapegoat then, which is really, which really forces plays. Um, like I got a game earlier today, he had two sets, and um, he, I declared an attack and he, I, he activated the scapegoat on declaration um, because he can't. Like I'm just gonna send the other one. Um, I, I deflected, he read rebooting and I won the game. That. Um, side note, don't play Red Reboot unless you, you're playing like Pendulum or a fast deck because if like he Red Rebooted me and he lost because of it because I just had too much advantage after that. And um, I like Red Reboot only if you can kill. It's sidetrack or whatever. Um, three man editor, this card's really good. Um, I actually thought about cutting this to two. Um, I know it's a little troll and really bad. Um, but I was trying to find a cut because I play a 42 card list and I feel like my list is really tight. Um, and I again I've worked on this deck, I've theorized it, so I feel like my list is really consistent. Um, but this card, um, obviously you know summon him, you can get a protocol or a manifestation. I don't play the other trap, Imatel for whatever it's called. Um, but this other effect is really good. You can you can activate it, send itself to get bring back a, a, a multi-figure, and then multi-figure on your turn. Um, that's a really key um, aspect of it. You can summon this in defense of multi-figure on your turn. Like say say you aggressively multi-figure without this, you can multi-figure into into uh, Melody, and then like turn your Mel you can turn those into a Hexia, and then search this, and then send this back for a Melody in attack mode um, if you need to get the sins, um, which is relevant. So um, definitely play this card at three. Um, and just the, the biggest thing I can, I can say with the deck is use every effect on every card because these cards are really good and they have they 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 do have a lot of effects that some people don't really think about. Um, through multi-figure, this is like people say this is the best card in the deck. The, I'm sorry if you can't. Oh, I don't know, right? Um, this is like people say this is the best card in the deck, and it is. It's a really good card, but like this card doesn't do anything by itself. Whereas these are your are your good cards. So. Um, just give credit to like other cards. It, it kind of bothers me when people don't. Um, this does lock you into Alter Guys. So if you like use this, you can't like make Link Creebos, you can't make Nightmare stuff. Um, 
you can't, um, if you use Link Haribo's Grave Effect, you can't do this. Just stuff to think about. Some people do it. Um, so just kind of watch out for that. But yeah, this card's really good. And like, this can trigger on strikes and warnings. So you activate strike, you check the monster, and then on resol like after the card resolves, this starts a new chain. So that's a question a lot of people have. You can use these after strikes and warning and counter traps. Um, for my hand trap lineup, I'll play three ogre and a, or two ogre and three ash. Uh, I feel like ash is more relevant in the meta right now than ogre is. Ogre is still great. Um, don't get me wrong, but like there's, there's a lot of power cards um, that ash can hit. Um, whereas, oh, I mean, don't, Ogre can still hit a lot. Aside the third Ogre, I'll get to that in a little bit, but um, I think three and two is correct. I might do two and two if I want to like trim down numbers some more, but I I, I, I wasn't complaining when I saw my Ashes. Um, or I, have, I haven't been complaining when I do some Ashes. Um, for the spells, I just I just went two duality. Um, I, I'm honestly thinking about cutting just spells in general and playing a 40 card deck, but these, these do get you there. Um, these kind of suck um, with the melody. Like, you can't Melisee, or yeah, you can't marry Melisee in a multi figure. You're kind of risking it that you'll hit multi figure with these. Uh, I, I, I'm just not too big of a fan. I'm not a fan of setting uh, Melisee when I don't have multi figure and like hoping they kill it. Um, because then I can't I can't be active with my plays and I'm having to wait until they, they are active. So, um, I don't know about this card. I might just cut it in general. Um, also, I had a game earlier where he mind crushed, like, I searched out a Marin, I searched out a multi figure, he mind crushed it. Oh, I searched it off this, and then he mind crushed it, and I tried to marionette it and then bring it back, and then I was like, wait, I'm under duality, so I can't. Um, so, I mean, this card's really good, but it, it can be it can be a hindrance, so um, I'm still debating on this card. Um, but I just played two spells. I kept the third one. Um, for traps, I play two manifestation. Um, I think this is a solid number. I don't want to see this in hand. Um, I want to set it from deck. Um, one, one's not enough. Two, two is good. I, I did like three for recursion in long games, but I think I think two is correct on this card. Um, I play three protocol because you have to play three of this card. This card is, is really great. Um, your effects don't get negated. Um, you can play skill chain. I don't advise it because I just don't. Um, but this card is really good. They don't get negated. Um, under under Baguska, they won't um, they won't get negated, but your monster still will go to, to defense. Um, so you do have to play around that. But um, I actually used the the five the level five to negate his uh, Baguska earlier, and then I can play. I like summon a, a Metal Seek and then attack. Um, but that's irrelevant. Um, but this card's good. Play three. Um, three spoofing. Um, you play three spoofing because this this is like a, a ninth multi or er, uh, seven eight nine. Because you play the three Metal Seeks, you play three multi and then you play through this. Um, you can resolve multi -figure. You can summon the multi you search off of this by activating it. Um, some people don't know that. I know I know. I'm saying a lot of stuff most people know, but um, some people don't. So, um, also, there's one thing I was thinking of. But, oh, multi is only on tra uh, trap activations. So, like, if you activate, if this is already up and then you activate it, you can't summon a multi -figure. I, Again, something most people should know, but I'm just saying. Um, people do get confused. But um, this eight trap lineup for multi I, th I think it's solid. Um, I would highly recommend this lineup um, versus any other ones. Uh, next, we have three uh, infinite impermanences. Um, this card's really good. If you open up, I haven't done it. <laughs> I, in so many games, I haven't done it. I've done it online, but I haven't done it in person. You open up this and you open up uh, multi figure, and then you play on your turn zero when they're going off. Um, but this card's really good. It, it shuts off spells and traps. Um, it turns off monster effects. Um, I would not play this card out. I don't know if I would play this card outside of Alter Guys. So this card has a lot of hype. Um, if you haven't picked yours up yet, don't rush to pick it up because I do think this card will drop. Um, but this card, this card is really good in the deck. I do. It's a, it's an instant three. No no questions asked. And um, I I don't think I have to explain why this is. I don't I don't need to talk about this card anymore. Um, for my for other traps, I'm playing the Solemn Brigade. Um, these are great. Um, I thought about siding this just for evenly. Um, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. This might be a cut. Um, and then I thought about cutting strike two, but I just, I, I love this, this lineup right here. It's just really good. Um, next, I play, I play two anti spell, two typhoon, and three torrential. Um, this wins games. I really want to play three of it, um, but I don't want to see it going second. Um, I side a third for sure. I don't want to see it going second. This is good going. Um, first or second because you can set and then like um, it's really good against Draco. I really hope Draco gets hit, but in the meantime, this is really good and it can trigger multi figure. Um, and then this card is really good. I think this is an instant three of. Um, I every time I I like do like deck revisions or revisions. I think. Um, 
I like set this out because like it, it is a possible cut, but this card's so good. And like if you activate this and then you summon multifigure, it's like a reset to the board and you just get so much advantage. And that's, that's you just play just play this card. Um, so a lot of people don't. They're like I, I read online in the Altergeist group, they were like, since when is torrential thing? And I'm like, what? Like torrential's so good. But uh, yeah, bottom line play torrential. Um, that's it for the main deck. Um, I'll go ahead and hit the extra deck real quick. Um, and this is like my extra deck. You don't have to play. Is there a time limit on this thing? No, you're good. Is it still going? It's still going. <laughs> but I'm at 10 minutes, so I just want to keep make sure. For extra, I play one tornado. Um, it will come up. I play a black rose and I play a scarlet. Um, black rose is not optional, in my opinion. And then scarlet, your your level eight secret can be optional. Um, this can be like an omega. It can be um, the, the 2500 rank level eight that blows everything up, and then like it gains attack or something. I don't know the name of it. Um, but I just play these for board board new game capabilities. Um, I, I highly suggest playing a uh, seven and eight. I, I'm actually thinking about playing a six. I don't know what six I would play, but um, it does come up with your hand traps, and I, I am thinking about it. Just, um, th think about sinkers. Just don't think about don't think just about links. Um, as far as XTs go, um, I thought about playing a, a break sword to get over some things. Um, there's not really a two I thought about playing. Maybe Sky Cowboy, the one that bounces. But um, and then fours, Tornado Dragon is really good. Um, outside of Tornado Dragon, I don't see maybe Dweller against certain matchups. I know some people side Dwellers. I can, or side Age Dweller. I could probably put Dweller in the extra because my extra looks kind of bad. To be honest. But um, these are these are good. I play one link Ball. I was playing two, but I traded one of these away for a first head Ash. So I was like, yeah. I mean, I'll get rid of it. Um, and I was just, I really, I was just playing two because I didn't know, I don't really know what to play. Um, you have a lot of room with the extra deck. I'm not gonna say mine is golden. Um, I would say play, play some form of this. Um, but I mean, one link creep is fine. One link creep is only bad if you get, if it gets struck. Which is, I mean, if, if it gets struck, your other stuff's not getting struck, and then your melee is resolving. So unless they have two strikes, but I mean, it's, it's whatever. I'm gonna play three hexia. Um, most of the time three doesn't come up. Most of the time, most of the time, really one comes up. Um, I've had a lot of games where I play two. Um, I've had a couple games where I go into three. Um, you can just play three because you don't you don't need the extra deck room, so it's fine. Um, I play one prime banshee. Uh, this card's actually good. People people don't people don't think this card's good. Uh, it's a link three that can easily be brought back with uh, Marionetta. Um, it can't summon on their turn. This can also summon uh, Kankiari, which can again effect on their turn. Um, this can summon your Karen, which most of the time you want. If you're making this, most of the time you already have Karen established. Um, you can link. Um, like say you have, I've, I've had Mel Seek and, and Hexa a lot, and I'll link those into this, and then I'll get double searches. Um, so like sometimes I'll just go into, like I'll turn this into this, and then bring this back with Marinetta, and then I'll have like all three of these up, and then it, it just gets searches, so like, don't just... Like, play this card. It's just, it, it will come up. Um, I'll play one Kadolga. Um, Kadolga's in here mainly to, like, um, if I'm struggling to do damage, or if, if I'm, like, thinking of how I can go game, Kadolga sometimes will go game because you can reward something big if they have it. Um, this card's really good against, I, I personally think this sex bad, but the Lair of Darkness Dark deck, um, the Tribute, the 3K one, um, you can steal that, and it's really strong. I've done that a couple times. Um, it's good against uh, ABC, you can steal their pieces and sit on those. Um, just like the monster stays on your board, so it's, I mean, it's pretty good. Um, you can reborn Borlord, I mean, that's pretty optimal, but you know, it's just, it's just good. It should be played as one of them. Um, I've got Akashic, um, we play Kaijus on the side, and we also play Kirins, um, so you have a lot of bouncing to the hand. Um, but this with the Kaiju is like free, and um, this is this is pretty good. And then I play I play Goblin, I play I play Goblin Cerberus, and I play Phoenix for the Nightmare Package. Um, I've only met. I've only made this once, and uh, it was to crash into a super agent, um, because this is pretty big. Um, these two, this can get you an extra normal, which is alright, I guess, and um, this destroys monsters, I think. I, I don't know, I don't even make them. Um, I, I guess you can see the extra things work. Um, I play one increase you, because you can make it with Link Creep on Hexia, and then pop a problem card, pop a plug in or something. And I play one firewall. Um, firewall is definitely like, kind of weird, but I did, I did make this tonight. Um, I made this with a Prime Banshee and a Marinetta, and then I had, a, I had it point into a, a Hexia, which kind of negates Hexia, but I mean, it was, it was good in, in, what I, in what I used it for. Um, so let me just reset the order on this. And then, so that's that's an extra deck. And then for side deck, um, I play one, I side the third Ogre, it comes up. I side the three Kaijus, because um, Masterpiece sucks. 
Um, I saw the third typhoon and the third anti spell. Um, again, this is for True Jaco. This can be for True Jaco. I, I would say this against True Jaco, actually. Um, but this, this hits a lot of decks. This is just really good. If you're not playing three anti spells, you're probably doing something wrong. Um, I play three evenlies because evenlies. You mean shield and sword? Evenlies are really good. <laughs> it's really good in the mirror, too. Um, I do. Um, I play I play three iron walls just to counter evenly. Um, if you sit down against your opponent and you think they might have evenly, just slide this in. Um, if you sit down, this might sound stereotypical, or maybe stereotypical is the wrong word. Um, but like, if you think your opponent has evenly, just slide them in. You don't want to lose this card. Um, and then this also this can hit like um, my Saturday night against Trinity. I played I played a. Um, a some a car, 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 cardigan deck, and I sided these in. Um, this is just this. It's good against a couple. It's good against Mega, but that's a big one. Um, so, I but this beats this, and you lose this. So, um, these are good. And then I play I play three deflectors. Um, these are really good against true Jacob. They they go normal summon a mono. Um, as soon as they play like a diagram or something, you just activate this, and you, they just pass because they can't leave normal summon, and then you're good. But um, that's it for the that's it for the deck. Um, I think it's really good. The most revisions. Um, I would edit the extra deck. Um, maybe a, little, a lot. Maybe. Um, I think this side is pretty pretty good. Um, maybe deflectors. Deflectors are gonna come out once Draco comes out. Everyone should go hit. Um, I want to play. I kind of want to play um, Chain Disappearance because you can hit their Karens or you can hit their Metal Six in the mirror. Uh, That's can, true. And then um, there's like a couple other decks that get kind of hurt by it. But um, I don't know. But that's the deck. So, all right. Thank you really much, man. Uh, that was awesome. Very in depth. So, the next time, guys, take care. Have fun doing Bill Dueling. I hope this video was very informal, uh, informative and it helped you guys out when you're building these decks. See you guys next time. Good luck dueling to all of you. Thank you, man. No problem.